Here's how you set up a brine shrimp hatchery in literally one minute. So you're going to get a cup. This could be a protein shaker or anything. You're going to put two cups of water in there. And then after this, you're going to put one tablespoon of salt. This is just normal, like no iodine salt. Then you're going to need some brine shrimp eggs. Now I always have these on standby in my fridge and you should too, but if you don't, I highly recommend brine shrimp direct. I always have a good hatch rate. After this, add in an air stone that's attached to your central air pump system in your fish basement. Again, if you don't have one of these, definitely get one. Um, and then just put your light on top of it and you're good to go. 24 to 36 hours later, you should be able to see a bunch of little brine shrimp swimming around. And if you look very closely here, you won't see any of them because we still got eight hours left, all right? We don't have any hatching yet. However, after they do hatch, they are ready to eat. Now you could eat them. This is what I did last year and the year before. Um, but you can also feed them to your fish, and that is the main reason why I'm hatching these things. This is the number one food to feed your freshly hatched baby goldfish.